Kidoki, in our last lesson, uh, we came up with uh, a way to turn our turtle right and left um, using keyboard bindings. It looks a little something like this. Get out of the way. Make it move faster. However, you, you notice we can kind of go off the screen, which we don't want to be able to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to set some boundaries. Oops, do you want to do that? We're going to set some boundaries so the player cannot go off the screen. So if you recall from our coordinate system, uh, 0, 0 is the center. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to create a border at about minus 300. So 300 pixels up, 300 pixels right, 300 pixels down, etc. Um, so first thing we want to do is we want to actually just draw the border. Okay, So I'm going to do that up here. So I'm going to say draw a border. Now to do that, I'm actually going to create a new turtle. I'm going to call it my pen, so I know what it is. Um, so again, it's the same thing, turtle dot capital turtle. Um, when I start it, I want the pen to be up. And then I'm going to use a new method called set position. You can also use set pose, I believe, um, but I like set position because it's it's very clear what it does. I'm going to move my turtle to minus 300, minus 300. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to run it. Okay, so I don't know if you saw that, but here is my pen. What I do is I moved it down here, and I want it to go up here, up here, up here, and just draw a square so we know where the borders are. So now I need to my pen. I need to put the pen down. Um, I set the pen size to three. You could choose your own number, but that works. Um, we'll keep it black, I think. Now let's leave it like that. And now what we need to do is again. So we're going from here to here to here to here to here. So it's a square. So it should be pretty easy. So four side in range four, so we have four sides, uh, my pen dot forward. Again, so remember, we're going from minus 300 to plus 300, so it's going to be 600 altogether. And then my pen left, 90. And at the end of that, we don't need it anymore, so I'm going to hide the turtle. So this will keep it off the screen because it's not really needed anymore. So let's run that and see what happens. Okay. So I've got some boundaries. Now, of course, I'm perfectly able to go around those boundaries. So you haven't programmed that yet. So let's get rid of that. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to do something called basically boundary checking. And what that does is it checks the location of our turtle. And basically on the left, if it's lower than minus 300, or on the right, if it's greater than 300, um, in the case of y, of course, if it's less than minus 300 or greater than plus 300, we know we've hit the border. And just to make it easy, if we hit the border, um, we could do something. We could jump to a random location. But I think in this case, what we'll do is we'll just have it turn around 180 degrees. And that'll make life uh, kind of easy for us. So now this is something that needs to be done every time we, we go through the loop. So after we move forward, um, we're going to try it here. Okay. So um, what we need is something called the player x coordinate and the player y coordinate. So let's check the x. So if player.xcore, so that's where the player's x location greater than 300, so that's on the right, or player.xcore is less than minus 300, we'll just have it turn around. So player.right 180. Okay, so let's test that. So we can go see what happens when we hit X, the X side. Oh, 
So you can see it hits the border, turns around 180 degrees. Boom. Boom. Now, now of course, nothing happens at Y because we haven't programmed it yet. Okay, so it's going to be basically the same thing. So we can just kind of copy that. <laughs> copy, not cut. Okay, so the player Y coordinate, or the player Y coordinate. And this is using a square. We could use different dimensions, but uh, this just makes it easier to think about. And let's run that in the terminal again. Okay, so this will keep us on to, oops, it's kind of funky. This, yeah, that will keep us on to our, our board. Yeah, so that's pretty much that. So in this lesson, we've learned how to draw the border. Um, so we've created a new turtle. I just called it my pen, but you could have called it whatever, whatever you wanted. And moved it to our starting point with set position. And we used a loop to draw a square, come back, and then we hid the turtle. So we didn't need to see it anymore. As far as boundary checking, okay, we checked if our player's x coordinate was greater than 300, which is greater than this, or less than 300, which is less than that. Um, same thing with the y coordinate, same thing with the x coordinate. If it hits the border, boom, we just have it turn around. That's simpler uh, than trying to actually have a proper bounce. But that might be something for a, a good programming challenge for later. Okay, that's it. And the next lesson, we'll talk about uh, having a, a goal, having like an enemy or something that we can draw on the screen.